Let's go, let's go, let's go, Robo. Let's get, let's get, let's get loco. Whoa, wait, is that a lemon? Hi, my name is Joe the Safety Lemon. I'm Robo Loco's official mascot, and you seem pretty interested in FRC. Robo Loco? What's Robo Loco? Robo Loco stands for Robotics Latin County. We're a high school robotics team consisting of students from all across Latin County, and our goal is to share hands on STEM experiences. STEM experiences? But I kind of don't know anything about STEM or mechanical engineering or coding. Can I still join the team? Of course you can. RoboLoco aims to create a holistic team and welcoming environment that generates multiple access points into robotics so that team members can contribute no matter what their interests are. During the preseason, we host a series of workshops for each of our four sub teams mechanical, software, business, and creative. From CAD to creative design, our leaders work to ensure that all members, regardless of experience, have the fundamental skills that they need to succeed in a technical and non technical sub team of their choice. So, I just come to these workshops, right? Is that all? No, that's just for the preseason. Throughout the year, in addition to building a robot, we work to build connections within our team and with those in our community. Connections? What do you mean by connections? And how are you supposed to connect with an entire community? Over the past five years, RoboLocal has partnered with various schools, libraries, local nonprofits, and fellow first teams to conduct several outreach initiatives in our community and beyond. One of our main goals is that we aim to improve the accessibility of STEM educations to students all across our hometown. We also strive to promote FIRST programs and advocate for underrepresented groups within the FIRST field. Whoa, that seems incredible. I really want to help out, but it seems like a lot of work. I don't even know where to start. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody said that changing the world would be easy. But don't worry, because here, you won't be alone. Last fall, RoboLoco wrote and illustrated our own children's book called Gerald and His Robot, which we used to introduce over 400 underserved preschoolers to STEAM through Loudoun County's Head Start and STEP programs. We hosted four book parties at public libraries in order to do so, and we even translated our book into Spanish. Here, take a look. We also organized and hosted two Hour of Codes with the Academies of Loudoun Computer Science Honor Society for elementary school students at Title I schools. Together, we can create change in these communities. Wow, this book is amazing. I didn't even know robotics teams did stuff like this. You guys have also mentioned you work to promote FIRST programs. What's that like? As one of the only active at FIRST teams in Latin County, we try to use our position to mentor other persons in our community. This season, we've been mentoring the Thunderbolts, a rookie FRC team in Latin County. I share our guidance, mentors, and resources to help them with the process of establishing an FRC team and building a robot. We also invited them to our kickoff to brainstorm strategies and start up the season together. RoboLoco is also hosted two FL Explorer festivals, started two FL Explorer teams, organized an FL Challenge Regional Qualifier, and hosted workshops for over 40 FL Challenge teams. Wait, hold on a second. That doesn't make any sense. Are we supposed to be competing against these teams? Why in the world will we help them? Yes, but it's equally important to help broaden the impact of STEM and share gracious professionalism. Of course we want to win, but this is how we make a real difference. I see, I see. So, do we just help out Loudoun County, or...? No, 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 of course not. We wouldn't want to limit our potential to just within Loudoun County. In fact, last year, Robo Local launched a STEM advocacy podcast called RoboCast, where we interview STEM professionals who provide insight into their past experiences and give advice to students who want to pursue STEM careers, just like you and me. RoboCast has allowed us to increase the awareness of STEM equity gaps across the world, and we also connect with other first teams, such as Savart's 4400 from Mexico. Together, we can create change in these communities. And to help other FRC teams, especially rookies, we start First Steps, an online non-technical resource bank, since we noticed that unlike the technical components of FRC, there aren't many easily accessible resources that help teams with their non -technical. It's also completely collaborative. We feature rookie reflections, business, creative, and safety resources from both our team and other teams like the CryptoHawks, Titan Robotics, and Girls of Steel from Pennsylvania. Whoa, that's really incredible. You guys also mentioned that you work to promote accessibility of STEM. That seems pretty major. What kind of work do you do for that? We work with our education system to develop STEAM and robotics based lesson plans for teachers and educators across the county. Every year, we attend and present the Inspire Louder Conference, 
where we help teachers develop these lesson plans, and we also provide them fact sheets on how to start both FLL and FTC at their home schools. For the past five seasons, Verbal Lucas has been attending the National Advocacy Conference, and we've been on their advisory council since 2018. At NAC, Roboloco and FRC teams from across the country lobby their congressional representatives to obtain increased funding for STEM activities in low-income areas under ESSA Title IV Part A. In fact, through NAC last year, funding for Part A increased by $100 million. NAC has also enabled Roboloco to establish relationships with policymakers like Representative Jennifer Weston, Senator Mark Warner, and former Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos. It really does seem like Robo Locally does so much to impact its community. But I'm curious, what effect does this have on your team? Outreach affects our team in so many ways. First of all, it gives members a chance to apply the skills they learned in the FRC program towards making meaningful contributions in the area around us. Not only do we gain invaluable learning experiences, but we also create partnerships with teachers, professionals, and other students across the county. Through our outreach, we've also been able to grow the future of Robo which has been seeing our increased membership and team diversity each year. Currently, 49% of our team and 70% of our leadership is female, and we have a 100% graduation rate. Boom! Mind blown! Wow, this team is just, I have to join. I didn't know a robotics team could do this much. I mean, it's no surprise. After all, Roboloco is more than just a first team. We're, We're a community. community.